Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. What I want to talk about in this video is PowerPoints and people that overly use PowerPoints in their training courses, their tactical training or whatever type of training. To me, I personally despise PowerPoint presentations. To me, it's a lazy way of teaching. PowerPoints are for people that don't under understand their topics. Um, I understand if you don't understand a topic and you need to be guided, then PowerPoints can guide you. But um, in general, I don't use them, I don't like them, and if, to me, if you know your topic, there's no need to use them. A couple of examples. I was talking to somebody a while ago, and they must probably be watching this video. Very nice person, very nice lady. And she's doing good for herself. She's got a good little business going, um, doing more corporate travel security, travel management, that type of thing. Doing seminars, doing courses, workshops, all corporate. And you know what? I'm not hating on her. She's doing a good job. I've seen her content, and the content she's putting out there is good. The PowerPoints are good. So, um, you know what? Best of luck to her. But I was talking to her, and. Uh, to me, she's not really traveled. Even though what she's doing is all about travel security and travel management, apart from the usual corporate travel, I would say uh, her experience is limited. And I told her this and she admitted it. She was cool with it. But again, it works for her world. One thing is a red flag for me when I talk to people, especially about security or my world. I was asking her about things and what problems she had to deal with this and that. She said, well, she's never really had to deal with any problems traveling. Which to me is a red flag. You know what? To me, the travel business, especially when you combine it with close protection, is close protection investigations. You're dealing with travel. Travel management, managing other people can be a fucking nightmare. And I got too many stories. Put it this way. The location I'm in at the moment, I didn't know I was traveling lunchtime yesterday. Less than 24 hours ago, I wasn't traveling, I was working on a book. Then the phone went. I sh didn't expect to be in the country I'm in now until last evening. And I shouldn't really be here, but I'm stopping over here due to visa issues that nobody foresaw and everything was taken care of until they weren't taken care of. So to me, if you're dealing with the travel business, you're dealing with problems. The security business, you're dealing with problems. And you have to understand how to deal with problems. So this is where somebody says to me, we've not really had a problem. Well, you're not really doing much. No disrespect, but you're not really doing much if you don't have problems. Um, the other issue, I mean, I wish this girl all the best. Um, this is on about training up other people that's going to be doing her courses and putting expanding. You know what? I hope she makes a fortune. I really do. But I'd question mark training up other people. And I see this in the close protection business, especially, and even self-defense and firearms, where people are just training up other people. Instructors are training up other instructors in theory, and the instructors have no experience. This is all well and good until the instructors have to start answering questions. Until you get an asshole like me on the course, and it's like, okay, why, 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 why? And then people start scratching their heads. Um, not that I would. If I like the person, no worries. I had a guide. If I don't like them, then I'm going to be an asshole. Um, but this is where it's like, to me, you need experience to be able to teach. You need a, a, at least a grounding experience. And if, to me, if you're teaching anything to do with risk management, anything to do with travel, that experience has to be dealing with bullshit. Um, somebody else popped up on LinkedIn. They posted something on one of my posts the other day about, um, he was talking about a few things. I forget what it was. And they popped up with some theory, some risk management theory cycle and whatever. And okay, you know what? Sounds good. I'm sure teaching that type of thing, teaching that and showing PowerPoints about it on some in some comfy classroom makes sense but you know what over the years 
some people might find this hard to believe, but I've been in quite a few sticky situations, some of which I'll admit might have been my causing. Throughout all those years and th throughout those issues, have I ever thought about referring back to some fucking PowerPoint presentation I saw or something? Definitely not. Have I ever thought, well, this thought cycle or this risk management cycle, um, I need to apply that now? No, of course I didn't. To me, that's stupid. You need to be able to think on your feet and solve problems. And this is where, to me, a lot of this corporate security, risk management, training, cycles, etc. are complete and utter BS. You know what? If somebody's got half a brain, they should be, work, should be able to work out what's safe and what's not safe. They should be able to work out, just do the common sense, what's going to cause problems and not cause problems. What's going to potentially get them harmed and what's not going to get them harmed. Combine that with life experience and I'll put that way ahead of somebody that's done a risk management course in a comfy classroom watching, read, I mean, uh, following flow charts and diagrams and everything else. Might sound cool in theory, might end up with a cool certificate, but you know what? To me, those types of certificate are good for one thing. And um, the end result is they end, end up down the toilet. Okay, just my opinion on PowerPoints and, you know, I, I'm not even going to get into, even though I titled this video PowerPoint Tactical, uh, well, Tactical PowerPoints, it's like, I know there's PowerPoints out there, especially on firearms training, the NRA's got some good ones, but if you need a PowerPoint to guide you through how to teach somebody how to strip a firearm, use a firearm, basic shooting, etc., etc., then I don't think you should be teaching firearms courses. You need to be out there training yourself and until you know that second nature. Anyway, just my thoughts as usual. I'm sure a lot of people disagree with them, but I don't particularly care. Such is life. Anyway, in the meantime, follow me along on social media. I have an array of videos up on my favorite platforms, LinkedIn and X, but we back everything up on YouTube and also Instagram. I don't particularly like those two platforms, but they're useful at the moment. So follow me along. If you have any questions, reach out. And don't forget, I've got an array of books up on Amazon as well. It talks about various aspects of the security business, close protection business, and crime fiction. So as always, be good, stay safe, and stay out of trouble. And again, if you're teaching courses, teach, teach what's real. And if you can teach from experience, then go get the experience. <laughs>